recommendation won't be you know, brought to the board. This is the only discussion at this time. So I just kind of appreciate your thoughts. Anyone else? Yeah, well, one thing you may want to consider, I think, with Anthony was touching on, regardless of which way you go here, um, is, is this something, is there recommending, don't fill the vacancy until you the forward. But then here, again, I, I, I'm repeating myself. They're saying we're making suggestions and recommendations, but then they're demanding not to fill the vacancies. I'm saying, well, listen to what they're saying, take all the input, including the bracing of our LS tag. But the bylaws are the bylaws right now. And those bylaws demand that you fill those vacancies. And then, Make these changes. Who knows how long this discussion? Right now, it's going pretty well. But who knows how long this discussion can go? But potentially, it's you know, the adversarial on each side taking position on either side of this could, could drag on. But I, fine, let it drag on. It's going to drag on. But I think we've got a, an obligation at this point. Going to the agencies. So we shouldn't even be talking about the vacancies part? Because that's not the well, that's what they're saying. We're not going to tell the directors. I'm just going to give you feedback to the committee right now and undercut some of the bylaws. I see which investments I want to talk about. Our current bylaws are. Yeah, but you and I was talking about that. I didn't realize that. So now we're still back. Okay, so any more discussion from anybody? Any more? Any more? So then my question is. What do we do from here? So if we do want to do this amendment, if anyone ever wants to suggest this amendment, what do we do next? Well, at this meeting, as you can see in the agenda, it's only discussion. No, I mean, what we do next. Not right now, obviously. Right, but I'm about to tell you that now that we just had a discussion meeting, we have to set up another meeting mm -hmm. as far as to what our committee is going to recommend to the board. Mm -hmm. Because right now, all we do is discussion. We have to do stuff in another meeting. Well, you'll brief the board at, at the general yes. board yes. meeting. Right now it's just discussion. The next meeting we'll, we'll do, we'll get more input from the committee, and then what the, the uh, committee's input as committee members, we're going to make our recommend, recommendations to the full board to um, either. So then at the next meeting, we bring in our, but our amendment for what we would like to see put on the well, since this is being recorded right now, this is going to be on other minutes. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, this is only just discussion. We can't recommend anything to the board at this time because as you no, know. No, we're not going to the next meeting. Because so, this is on this agenda. Yeah. But I don't know that anybody can so actually be prepared. And, and I, I would like to, I mean, would like to see, um, I mean, I, I have some suggestions that I would like to submit. And I think the community should be given yeah. the opportunity to see. I would like to do that the next meeting mm -hmm. uh, as a meeting so that we can get input and then we can make uh, recommendations to the pool. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the minutes uh, from this meeting, it's, like I said, it's only just discussion. Mm -hmm. We can't recommend anything to the board at this time. No. But what we'll do is that we'll set up another meeting so that um, the next meeting we're going to get input and we're going to make recommendations to the board to approve, not to approve. Um, you know, this is how the community feels and how the chairperson and the rest of the community feels, and we'll go forward from there. But right now, just, just to get input to um, see how everybody thinks about it. And for me personally, um, I don't see no problem with the, with the changes, personally, myself. But it's not a, a, my decision, it's not our decision. It's going to be the full board's decision. So um, I just want to keep that in mind. But we need to get more input. Uh, because, um, uh, as you can see, this, I really don't agree about the meeting time and location and things like that. We get more people in here. This is my um, personal opinion because these bylaws are going to affect the uh, community for the next couple of years. So um, I just want to make sure you guys know that you know, the next meeting we're going to do a lot more outreach to get more input and um, we look forward to that. So, um, anything else that we um, have here? Um, this was just a minute. That's a minute, all right. Can we do the minutes at this time? That's on there. I wouldn't have touched that on this agenda. Discussion? Um, does anyone have any more comments on um, just a minute? What I understand is that, um, from what I heard, I, I, I feel the same way. I, I don't have a problem with it. But, um, if anyone has any more comments. Well, this is any of your guys' amendments. Just a minute. That's not true.
Uh, I do agree. And um, I think we should get this out of the way. If, if it's allowable at this, in this section of the agenda, I mean, I, I would suggest that you, I mean, it does go along with um, amendments that you committee members are going to be putting forward. If you, you know, maybe discuss some sort of plan, um, timeline, uh, say, say the next meeting, everybody, you know, comes with, I mean, I don't know if you want to limit a number, but comes with, with their suggestions written down. Yeah, at the next meeting, and by say the next two meetings, that you have to make sure to get the word out so that uh, give a deadline for the public to submit submit suggestions either via email to the chair. But maybe that could be your discussion on, on how you're going to you know incorporate everybody's right. suggested amendments. You know, um, I, I mentioned earlier that we were committing this um, at this time. Uh, I think that the committee uh, is also that we are in the on this. So I would like to um, motion that uh, item number five, discussion of suggested amendments, and we can hold on on that until we get more input. Um, this is my recommendation at this time because I don't think that we can, um, with, um, with just this small amount of people that we have here, we need more people to be here to make these uh, suggested amendments. So I would like to make a motion to um, uh, agenda item number five, discussion of suggested amendments by the bylaw committee members. I would like to put that up until the next meeting so that we can get more input from the community so that we can make our suggestions. Any thoughts? Uh, because right now we're just a discussion mm -hmm. of suggested amendments by bylaw committee members. Did, I, did anybody bring suggestions other than the ones done with me? Right. So do you want to see them now or the next meeting? Not now. Okay, so at the next meeting or would you like to see them? For the sake of time, since we started off late and Bain is not here, I would like to have a date that the time can be better for committee members and stakeholders. I will, is that a motion you make? Yes. Um, I'll make a motion to table the item for now okay. for our next um, committee meeting. And at that time, too, we can also um, maybe get some recommendations with Don regarding the uh, committee chairs and how many people like we were discussing like you mentioned earlier. Recommendations with yeah. Don? Well, no, the reason why I'm saying because they're not, they're not like Mr. McGuire said, they're not going by our bylaws and if we go by our bylaws, they're saying don't do it, don't, you know, so I just want to get clarification so that there's no misunderstanding. They've already clarified their interpretation of it. Uh, um, the wording could be a little more specific, or should be, not could be, should be more specific so that there is no need for interpretation that is just clarified. Their interpretation right now is that a committee of five, six at the time was fine. So as far as the chairperson, chairperson, is that a really discussion about who it was. Um, Dunn wasn't adamant on the fact that the first person named is the chair. Um, so what are our bylaws say? It doesn't say anything in the, in, the, in, the, in the bylaws. It doesn't even say that the president appoints the chair. Mm -hmm. Historically, that's how it's done. But it doesn't have to be done that way. The committee could vote on the chair. So that's the... A, a committee could meet, like I said, in the absence of the chair. So on the next item, we could say... Uh, we're having a special meeting where the chair will be named. And... Um, but again, get on, on number five, I would I would suggest that you put some sort of timeline. Are you asking them for the next meeting to bring their suggestions in writing? Well, not just them. We want to put right, them. but but at least yeah. help with yes. them. Yeah. And that, and what would be your strategy to get the word out to the community before the next meeting? Well, as far as because we don't Maybe know, you can that. because we don't have a chair an outreach or an outreach person, which is a person that's supposed to take care of these. Um, it would have to be the, uh, either the chairperson of the committee to do outreach, or it would have to be a, uh, a committee member that's going to volunteer to like set hand up flyers for the meeting. Because like, right now we don't have any funds to to do any outreach, and we don't have a committee to do the outreach. We don't have a committee to make flyers and so forth. So I think what we're now and emails and stuff like that. That's all free. Can you email yeah. us? Um, but I don't know who's going to be doing the agenda for the next committee meeting. 
I would like um, one of the items to be a timeline where we could go ahead and set the plan. You know, our, our price that we're gonna we're gonna take this test. Are we gonna do it article by article? Or are we gonna just you know build yeah. some structure? I would like to say that. It's Otherwise, it's going to be like this every single time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, and like this said, yeah. I don't want to just drag on. And I would say, hold your too. If they have an interest for a particular article, then, you know.
who we were, no one knew there was the Ember Council. And we tried to work in that in 2007, 2008, like by doing a lot of outreach, but still to this day, I still go to other communities and I say, hey, you know what, there's an Ember Council, and I'm like, what's that? So they're still not aware. So we still have a lot more to do as far as outreach. So I, I think that, uh, that community members' input is very vital to, to the future of, uh, of the communities of where we stand. So, um, any more comments? Anything? Any comments? Anything else? Thank you for your comments. Okay, um, you know, we only have two or three more minutes. Uh, how, how are you? How do you propose like getting community input on that? Well, what we have to do, like I said, you can't do anything at the next meeting. You can't make any recommendation. It's just a discussion. So what I would like to do is at the next uh, general board meeting, uh, present a... Uh, like recommend Yeah, recommend that we have a, an all special meeting as far as the bylaw committee uh, to actually get more participation, more input. As far as making a decision on addition of suggestions and making members by the bylaw committee. So, and not only that, but as far as being input, as far as changing the name and so forth. But um, I don't know if all that's going to be, if they can be agendized at the next meeting. And this is what we're going to have to get uh, input from them because I don't know. But being an exhaustive effort, they, they control the agenda, so. Right, and, and that's why. They I, probably I won't view concern. this as, some, as a priority at this right. point. But one of the things is that, is that, that as far as for us to get out of exhaustive measures, the three things that they mentioned that we do, one of them is, is this, this, and we're doing it. Are you and doing the other it? thing was uh, the uh, retreat, right. and the other thing was the ethics training and all that. So uh, the sooner we do this, the sooner we will get off of it. So. I, I think it's really funny, just um, so many members can wait to discuss the date and time and the frequency of that we're meeting. Maybe we need to be more than monthly to get this. Yes. Uh, Raven needs to be included in that discussion. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, related specifically to item number six, uh, which we started the process of uh, discussing item number one, but in there on the item it indicates of the current LA 32 neighborhood council bylaws. My question is, I'd like to ask the chair or those committee members present here with me, which ones do we agree on, which we would be considered the current, because with the understanding of stakeholders, previous board members, the current board as established, uh, the bylaws indicated to be done have never been approved, so are they current? Uh, going back in time, the bylaws we're using, which would be these here, indicated October 12, 2012, have never been approved by the board, and in the bylaws it indicates specifically any amendment to these bylaws requires a two-thirds vote of the directors present at a duly noticed general or special board meeting. That has never happened since 2010. So my only question is, is when we're I, speaking about item six, which is the current LA 52 neighborhood council bylaws? That would be a very strong question to consider because we can't take the ones verified or approved 2014 we most, mostly have been working on what has been accepted by 2012, but they're not approved, and I don't know if they're current, so that would be my question. Are there any major differences between these two Not much. That's what I'm asking, though, because we have to agree that we're going to use a set rather than a variety of any set. Do you know if there are any differences between the There is differences. Only the amendment, as indicated in red, which Dunn has provided, but going, going back to 2012, those indicated October 12, 2012, have also not been approved, as the Bible says, requires a two-thirds vote of the directors present. So and since that, that never happened, the ones that have a different is there a difference? They're different. They're different. They're different. Like, okay, they're, my question is not that there's difference, it's who accepted them is my question. Not whether they're different or not. My question who accepted them? What's the difference? And is there any point of Yeah, are they, is it grammatical or is it? Yeah. What I'm saying is we have to agree on which was the Precisely. final bylaws approved by the board. Precisely. Yes, not so, okay, are there differences? approved. Okay, then we would have to go back in time. It's even relevant. Why does it no. say it's approved by the board? It says current now it's approved by the board. Correct, that's what I'm asking. And this is what Dan has given us. So I, I'm real comfortable moving forward with what Dan has given us because they have okay. made changes to the definition of stakeholder. And my understanding is that 
that is that is what this this reflects. That's what I'm following. So um, if committee if the committee is okay, I mean it's not on the agenda, but if we could add it for the next item, if we could agree, I feel okay moving on with the ones that have given us. Then I have a question for my fellow colleague: Is then how does that that you wish to agree with comply with our bylaws standard Article 13, Section E, that any amendments to the bylaws? requires a two-thirds vote of the directors present at a duly and general general or notice special meeting. So how do you say we accept these if no board has ever approved them according to the bylaw standards? If the board has never approved it, it's been, it's been because of the work of the board votes that the different efforts, um, so they, they never happen. So, so then we would go the back to an existing approved bylaw then. Is that what, what you're saying? I'm not finished with people interrupting. Okay, so. It's not our fault that they haven't been approved. There was a committee and they didn't do their job done, so they had to step in. And then we ended up with the October one, so 2012. Okay? And it's not anybody who's, you know, um, the meeting board, it, it's, it's out of their hands. And that's how those, we've been using the, the former board was using October 2012. For us to bring up an issue of we need to go back to the ones who are, I don't know what board approved, I, I think it's unnecessary and it's, it's taking steps back instead of moving forward. We were given the job of working on these bylaws so we can get out of these massive efforts. I don't want us to go backwards. So, you're going to have your own bylaws after. So, I would, I, you know, I don't see why we have to go to the ones that we have to go back and look what was approved by the board. We were working with October 2012. These are the same. We could review them as either the same as October 12, but only the changes of the definition of stakeholders. I don't have a problem with these. Um, I don't know. I think it, I don't want to go to the discussion that it's not necessary. Okay. okay. So my um, question then would be that we would, would be willing to accept bylaws that were not approved by a board, meaning you want to contradict what the bylaws indicate. Article 13, Section E, and I just want to get it clear that you're wishing to go against it because Dunn says so and something other than what the board has provided. If it's the ones that are highlighted in red and it's the ones you want in 2014, I just want to say that yes, I'll accept those rather than what has something been approved by a board. Is that what your position would you rather accept something other than what's been accepted by a board? I want to go by the bylaws that we've been using. The last one was using October 12, but this reflects the new so I don't see it, but no. So I don't have problem with these these have done what it's going to October 12, 2012. Correct? January 26. Okay, so that would be a new one outside of being approved by a board. October 12, 2012 is the same, so January 26. They're not the same. They're not the same. It wasn't approved by a board according to you, so it's the same as the other one. No, according to anybody in the world. Not to me. No, okay. well, according you know, to anybody in the world, world, nobody is approving these bylaws. Not according to anyone. Okay. According to anybody in the well, world, nobody approves these bylaws. Well, October hasn't been approved, and January hasn't been approved by a board. Correct. So I don't see a difference in working with October or January. But then what we would do is we would go back to something officially approved by LA 32 Neighborhood Council. Did you say so? No, because that's what our committee is obligated to. I disagree. That's what I want to say. Okay, that's what I want to say. You disagree. That's what I want to say. That's what I want to say. Or, or the 2014 version, which you should accept. Okay. Yeah. I just want to take notes, because we're going to have to follow yeah. some... We're not taking a vote right now. No, it's not a vote. It's a note. You know what? You're about to make a vote. Okay, so I'm also to... Okay, so you can take a vote. Thank you. How are you? Yeah. Well, your question was... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to know, as part of item number six, the discussion of allocators made with the bylaws starting with the bylaws on page three of the current allocators made with the council bylaws. My question is, as a, as a sense of, of an official capacity as a committee established by the president, we have to follow a guideline of bylaws. The current bylaws, some people would indicate, as the committee member mentioned, would be the 2014 ones. My proposal would be how could they be current if they're out of compliance of the bylaws because no board approved it and it says on Article 13, Section E, to approve any bylaws, it requires a mandatory two-thirds vote of the directors present on the duty notice general board special meeting. And since that never occurred, how can you establish the current set of bylaws outside the threshold of what the board has approved? 
What is the current file being used? And it, and it should be the one approved by the board. If I'm wrong, which I'd like someone to prove, I'd like someone to prove that I'm wrong, then please indicate which ones are the current issues. I cannot answer that because it's not agenda. The only thing that was well, not, all we're doing is discussion of LA32. Correct. We're discussing, we're not, making any, we're not making any decisions how yeah. you feel, yeah. how we're just discussing. Yeah. So you're asking me a question, how does the chair feel about this? I can't answer that question because it's not agenda. It's item six. Okay. Of the current bylaw, then just so asking we're just discussing which of the so current bylaws. Which, which of the current bylaws? I don't, 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 I we don't have to ask them. It's indicated in our bylaws. Because what you're doing is bringing up fluff again. It's not interrupting. It's bringing up a concern that's not relevant. It's indicated in our bylaws. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate you guys coming down to be more input. But we'll look at the options. You should have a special meeting. And what I told you to do is that you should have a special meeting. And what we'll do is that you should have a special meeting. You should have a special meeting. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes, she is. 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 She is